Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to what is the final week of the regular season of the Pokemon Premier League. This week we're up against Matt and the Cotswold Whimsicots. Quite simple this week. We win, we get into playoffs. If we lose, we're out of playoffs. It is in our own hands as to what happens. But if we lose, we our, our kill differential is so poor compared to the other players above me and around me. That means that, unfortunately, I will be out. If I win, however, I'll have a better record. Kill differential doesn't matter. So really important this week that we do go in uh, and and obviously well, we always try our hardest anyway, but really go for that win. Um, Matthew's season's been odd. Um, he was one and four at one point, but he's actually now sitting at three and five. Um, so he's kind of picked up over the last few weeks, uh, unfortunately for us. And I'm pretty sure he's probably set a record for the amount of changes uh, made in a season, because that's how it feels anyway. I feel like his team has been different every week. Um, and this man drafted Trap Inch round one. Um, if you haven't seen Matt's videos, then you'll have no idea what's going on. But if you have seen Matt's videos or know Matt, you'll understand that makes complete sense. He is an absolutely lovely guy, but he is absolutely bonkers as well. But we all love him for it. So, yep, the final week of the regular season of the Pokemon Premier League. Let's get into the uh, team that I am bringing this week. First of all though guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, because obviously I will, well I hope I will, um, be back for PPL Season 4 when that happens in a few months time. I also hope to kind of upload some other stuff in the meantime as well, um, potential for like a Little Cup Draft League coming up as well, so I might also look into that, something a bit different. So yeah, if, if that all sounds good to you, make sure you do hit the subscribe button as well. Anyway, on to the team. First Pokemon this week is going to be Cinderace. Um, Matt's team really doesn't like fire types. His best, I say, I say his best, his single fire resist is Tyranitar, which has no form of reliable, I can't say reliable, reliable <laughs> recovery, um, as well as Cinderace being able to hit a stab U-turn or a fighting move, if I elected to bring one, which I haven't, uh, against the Tyranitar. And obviously Tyranitar is a sand setter, so if I can take that Tyranitar down, if I can chip it with a Pyro Ball into a U-turn, then there's a good chance we should be able to actually kill that Tyranitar, unless it's ridiculously physically bulky. Um, we are running enough speed to outspeed everything on Matt's team. Obviously I can't outspeed the dog in sand. By dog I mean Houndstone, unless I'm running a Choice Scarf. Max attack just for obviously as much damage as possible. And then a little bit in HP and defense for a bit of extra bulk. We are running Sucker Punch for some extra priority. It's another way of potentially checking the Houndstone. Um, and then I have also got Zen Headbutt, which was kind of filler. I can't remember why I've picked that now, uh, if I'm being completely honest with you, because I'm doing this recording a few days after battling. Um, but it's there for coverage. Uh, the only other real option there would have potentially been Will O Wisp for the dog and other physical threats on Matt's team. But Pretty standard Cinderace set, other than the fact actually that we have got the safety goggles as well. The idea for safety goggles is it stops Sand Chip and also it stops Stunder Spore from the Whimsy Cop. That's what I'm trying to outspeed, Whimsy Cop. Um, but yes, the safety goggles is to stop Stunder Spore um, coming off from that thing and potentially just KO with a Pyro Ball or hitting with a attacking move uh, like a U turn just to get out and get momentum. So that is Cinderace this week. Next we have got Moltres. Um, it's very different to any kind of Galarian Moltres set I have brought myself this season. Basically, it's my only Ghost Resist, so this is a kind of Houndstone check. Houndstone obviously does get play rough, it entirely depends on what item that is running, but Galarian Moltres is ridiculously fat. Um, it's got such good natural special defense, you don't really need to invest into it, so the fact that I'm able to put HP into this as well as uh, a lot of defense um, means I can check that really well and kind of do some nice chip damage with Fiery Wrath and Hurricane. Um, I found kind of like that Dark and Flying are a really nice combination when it comes to just hitting for neutral damage. Um, so that's there just for some chip. I have got the U-turn because Tyranitar comes in for free on this every single time um, and potentially so could things like Electivire um, if he predicts a Hurricane. 
So new turn is nice for momentum, and then I have got pain split as well, so that can allow me to help the longevity of the Moltres, but also um, lower things like a Tyranitar if I am though he does decide to switch into the Tyranitar. Um, and obviously it allows me to get potential Berserk boosts as well. So if I have a bulky Moltres which has got plus one or plus two, that will be doing even more damage to things on that team. And we are running heavy duty boots because I don't really want to be weakened by rocks each time. And like I've said, Tyranitar is a free switch into this thing. Uh, and if Tyranitar comes in for free, it's a free stealth rocks. So I don't really want to you know, be hindered by that too much. But this is here literally for the dog, mainly because Last Respects is legal on the dog this season, which is why it's an S tier. Um, however, Matthew has not really been able to utilize it to its best potential. So it's bound to happen this week against me, right? So that is why I'm bringing a bulky, I can't say it now, Galarian Moltres this week. Next on the team is going to be King Julian the Persimian. I'm really sad that I haven't been able to bring Persimian many times this season, other than this game and the one game against Drew. And in both games, it's come for the exact same reason, although slightly reversed. So with Drew, it was the Terror Electric. Uh, Bertic really screwed over my core of Blastoise and Gliscor, and it was the same here as well. With two potential mods, you had potentially ter Terra Electric Cloister, um, which again is that ice and um, electric combo with potential for Shell Smash. Then you've also got Electivire, which can Terra Ice, uh, along with some other Terrors too. Um, I will have shown you the team matchup uh, earlier on. Um, so Defensive King Julian is going to be the best answer I have for these kinds of mons again. Other than Shell Smash Cloister, but I don't really have anything for Shell Smash Cloister on my draft. Um, as you can see, got enough EVs there to take physical hits from the Electivire um, and the Cloister pretty well. Um, and a bit of attack investment as well, just to make those knockoffs do uh, as much damage as I can, especially as it's the enemy I've got for the dog. Uh, Drain Bunch for recovery, U turn obviously for momentum, and Seismic Toss is there just to kind of do consistent damage because it does have a Galarian Slow King, which could be an issue for this mon. Uh, obviously, I could run Earthquake as well, which in hindsight might have been probably a better move, but I don't really see myself clicking Seismic Toss, it's there just to kind of get nice, consistent damage off of it. Um, so yeah, that is a Deep Simeon this week, but I'm really sad that I didn't get to bring like a Choice Scarf set. Um, I could have brought it against um, Q, because he did bring, well, at least one Intimidate user, so the Defiant Boost would have been nice. Um, and I didn't get really, t I didn't really get the chance to, to utilize that much, so it's a shame, but I think this is the best set for Simeon this week. Fourth Pokemon on the team this week is going to be Gliscor. Um, we went through many iterations of this Gliscor in team building. Um, but in the end we kind of went with like a bulky offensive build. Reason being, Matt doesn't really switch into uh, ground types uh, at all. The only, I'm just looking at his team now, the only immunity and resists he have are Skarmory and Whimsicott. Both of which don't like to be taunted. Um, Skarmory can't do a lot back to Gliscor, I can't do a lot to it either, but it at least then gives me momentum to switch into the Skarmory. And if I can taunt the whimsy got, which can't really do a lot to me either, then that will shut that mon down too. Um, otherwise, Earthquake is going to be really nice. Uh, Gliscor isn't the strongest mon, but we are running Adamant with enough attack to just chip a lot of things on Matt's team. We're running Max HP to be a bit bulky, and then we've got enough speed here to outspeed. I want to say it's Adamant Max Speed Cloister. So I don't think you bring Jolly Cloister, because uh, that limits its you know offensive power. Um, so yeah, we've got Earthquake Spikes, you turn Torn. Matt doesn't have any hazard removal on his entire draft. Um, people forget that uh, Skarmory lost Defog this generation, so actually, any time I can taunt that Skarmory, I can start to set up Spikes. Um, and when I do get Spikes up, Spikes are here to stay, which is gonna really help with things like Cinderace, that can just kind of click buttons for free, and then sort of two more of the offensive open I've got later on in the team. But that is going to be Gliscor this week. The next Pokemon on the team this week is going to be Blastoise, and it wouldn't be week 9 if I wasn't bringing Shell Smash Blastoise. I really suffered from free attacking move syndrome in this game, obviously I have to run Shell Smash which leaves me with free moves. We went through many iterations again, we went through special, fully special with uh, Ice Beam, Surf and I want to say Aura Sphere. 
Uh, but then we realized actually that wasn't enough coverage. So then we tried Flash Cannon Surf and I think Aurasphere. Then we actually realized that Tyranitar takes Aurasphere at plus two, which is disgusting. So we then kind of went to Earthquake because we thought actually if we hit like a Surf into Earthquake on Empoleon, that's going to kill it. Uh, surf into Earthquake on Tyranitar will kill it. That This kind of like small mixed set of Blastoise is kind of what we kind of came up with in the end. Um, we've gone for T32 in speed as a, well we've gone naive because obviously we're a mixed attacking. I believe this was to outspeed a Cloyster. Um, however, there's probably something else there as well that I've forgotten about, which is also there to outspeed. Max special attack, obviously just to maximise our offence, and then we've got a little bit in the tank to make those earthquakes hit as hard as possible. Um, we are running Mental Herb because I didn't want to be encored into this by Whimsy Cop. So if I click Shell Smash and Whimsy Cop comes in, I can then click Flash Cannon, kill that thing, and not worried about being uh, encored into the Flash Cannon. So, um, that's why I've got Mental Herb and not a uh, White Herb to you know, restore my defences. And we have gone for minus Special Defence just because I think overall Matt's team sort of goes towards a physical offence more than Special. I'm looking at it now. I think the hardest hitting Special mod on his team is Empoleon, which it obviously hits hard, but otherwise most of them are physical. So that's why we've elected to go for the Naive Nature. And that is going to be Blastoise for this week. Final Mon of the final team. For week 9 of the Pokemon Premier League is going to be Zeb Striker. So that does sadly mean no more Latios and no more absolute MVP of a Mon, Vileplume. I really wanted to bring Vileplume and actually I do think Vileplume had quite a good matchup into this game at points. Um, but it also sucked at points too. And if I put Vileplume in with the 5 I kind of have, I have a really passive team and I don't want to have a passive team. Um, so we are going to bring Choice Scarf. Uh, Zip Striker, which is enough to outspeed the Houndstone in Sand. So that's 208 Jolly Nature. Supercell Slam, High Horsepower, Low Kick, and Volt Switch. Now, in building, I am running Terra Electric this week because Matt's electric immunity is a Electivire, which I thought would come, but when I was building with people, they didn't really think it would come because they could see other ones which would come over it. But I was still terrified of it. If he doesn't bring it, then he doesn't have a ground type, a grounded ground type. Uh, I don't know why a grounded ground type matters, but he does have a ground type in his draft, but it's Trap Inch and it doesn't exist. Um, although I should probably fear the fact that he doesn't have anything to lose this week because he can't make playoffs, and it's a Trap Inch. Um, it would be funny if we brought it in the last week, so I should probably kind of have considered that when I was building. Um, so Terra Electric is really free, so Supercell Slam, Terra Electric doesn't do a lot of damage. High Horsepower is there for the coverage. For the Electivire. Low Kick is there obviously for the Tyranitar and then Volt Switch to um, keep momentum going, which is risky when something like Electivire with Motor Drive is going around. I did want to run Baton Pass, but if I did switch into an electric move and get the speed boost, I'm not then allowed to Baton Pass, because that breaks Baton Pass clause, um, because I am knowingly passing a boost. If I clipped it after um, Matt decided to click Giga Drain with Whimsicott, for example, and gave me a Saxif boost when I did it, then that's allowed because I wasn't to know that was going to happen. I'd hope it would happen, but it's not what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, Zeb Strike is a mod I really wanted to try out this season. And I know I've brought it to quite a few games. Um, and I, It's been a bit underwhelming, if I'm honest. I think if you're going to get electric type in draft, you need a really strong electric type because it's a really good typing. Um, you know, any one weakness, it's, they're normally fast and hard hitting. Zeb Strike is definitely fast. Um, and I think with Terra, it is fun, don't get me wrong, but I think if you need an electric type, I'd rather get something else going forward, but it has been fun to use. Um, so that's the team for this week, hopefully it's enough to kind of get me that win to secure playoffs for myself. I forgot to mention it earlier in the intro, but please, in the comments, do not post spoilers about the outcome of the game unless you put a spoiler shield in front, because people will want to watch this battle and not know what happens in the playoff race, uh, you know, before seeing the game. So. Thank you for the support this season guys, I hope you have enjoyed the videos and let's get into the final battle of the season. Okay everyone, we are here for the final week of the Pokemon Premier League Season 3, or what will be the final week if we don't win. If we do win, then I believe that is our playoff spot secured. I will put something at the end of the video, uh, if that is wrong. 
so make sure you please check the end of the video. Um, because obviously you'll need to know if I do or don't make playoffs. So I'm pretty sure though if I win, I get playoffs. Uh, because that will be three teams on 6-3 and potentially Jack could be 7-2 or 6-3 or as well. But my KD is the worst. So we're playing Matt, who has got uh, Sand Doggo with last respect. Uh, and I don't have a normal type, so this is going to be interesting. Um, let me just say it's good to go. Uh, good luck, have fun. Probably shouldn't say good luck, have fun, because my luck hasn't been great the last few weeks. We did manage to get the dub last week. Let me just... Uh, I don't know what what I want. Let's go to Rapago, shall we? I don't know how that goes, but... Oh, he's wishing me good luck, have fun back. So I, I don't feel too bad now if there's hacks involved. <sighs> so, has he got the cloister? There is the cloister. Cloister. He did bring the Evi, damn it. No trap inch though, I thought he might bring it. Hound. Stone. Glad I didn't bring Sap Zipper and I did stick to motor drive now. But that means that'll probably be the Terramon. Uh, Empoleon. I was going to be uh, Evaya. I was going to be Baton Pass. Um, so I could bypass the motor drive. But um, if I can kill that thing, Terra Electric horse looks really good um i think cinderace is probably quite free as a lead here um i'm pretty sure anyway we've got gliscor there's no skarmory there's no skarm okay we're going to lead Cinderace. Um, Pyro Ball is very free into this team. Safety Goggles is now irrelevant on Cinderace. Um, I bought Safety Goggles in case of Stun Spore on Whimsicott. So good luck, have fun, Matt. Gliscor could be a problem for him. If I can kill the Electivire, then. Uh, and Cloister, obviously. Um, so he leads Natero, which is Mien Shao. So, like, I could just, like, uh, kill this thing, potentially, with the. What's it called? Mien Shao. I Life Orb. So, if you're Life Orb, close combat killed by our speed. If you are choice scarfed, don't die. Zen Headbutt kills, Pyro Ball will also kills if you're not bulky, but Zen Headbutt could just kill you. Do you Ice Spinner? Do you U turn? What do you do here? You could Stone Edge as well, actually, if you are scarfed. So let's. Oh, what do I want to do? You know what? Let's just YOLO. Let's just click Zen Headbutt. High jump kick. Kills. Okay, I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing this game. You're scarfed. That's good. Good to know. Um, terrible start to the game. Absolutely terrible start because that was my sub punch. Uh, so we click spikes. He hasn't got any way to remove the hazards. I have no idea what any of these names are. This cloister. Okay. Yeah, this thing's terrifying for me as well. Um, like, if he terror electrics, that's spooky. Um, I could taunt, expecting the shell smash. Or I can you turn out. How do I want to play this? This is, I've uh, honestly just thrown this game so much. Uh, unless you're scarfed. If you're scarfed closer, then fair enough. Um, do I taunt? <laughs> I 
because if he shell smashes, that's really bad for me. Like, really bad for me. I'm going to do it. I taunt. He doesn't tell her because he shell smash. If he ice core spears me, then I'm probably just dead, but you know. He can't toxic spikes. Okay. So he's not actually smash, which is nice. I think this gives me a free switch into the... Uh, free switch into Blastoise. That was a really nice play by me there. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Um, he has to attack me, so I think now is my time to go into this. Sorry about that, I just punched my microphone by accident. So we go Blastoise. We go Rock Blast. That was very little to me. I kind of wish I was, um, what's it called now? So Shell Smash here is nice. Yeah, I click Shell Smash. He might just think I'm Aura Sphering here. I regret, I really regret letting Cinderace die turn one. That was so stupid of me. Um, Mian Shell is 1-0. Like, this thing puts in a shift. I'm going to dent his team if he... If he stays in, then that's going to be slightly annoying. Uh, oh, he does stay in. He doesn't Terra Electric, though. That's nice. Um, Blastoise into Cloyster. So if you're max HP... Flash Cannon has a chance to kill, but... Um, we'll have to see. I'm so sad I let. Don't, don't crit me. Don't crit me. Eye Shard won't kill me from there, I don't think. Um, he shook off the taunt. Okay. Do we, we flash cannon? If he Terra Electrics, then he Terra Electrics. Like, fair play. But I don't think he will, because I'm pretty sure he's saving the Terra for Electivire. If he's max HP, this is a roll. It's clearly not AD. He won't be Spadef. He draws. Okay. What are you going into? Pen Pen. What's that? Pen Polion. Okay. So after Spikes. You think I'm special, right? There's nothing. Uh, I click EQ, head empty. Just click EQ. You didn't bring Glarian Sloking. So if you are especially defensive, I don't think there's a world where Earthquake kills, but it will pretty much. And actually, there is a role where this kills. If it's not, if it's not physically defensive in any way, or Shooker. The minimum is 75, highest is 89. She's just lived. So it's Citrus. Flip turns do I live? Live. That's big. That's really big. He won't be scarfed on... Sorry, he won't be fake out on... What's its face? I forgot what it's called. He's still got Cloyster around, which is a problem. You could have Ice Shard on there. So Ice Shard, Rock Blast, Toxic Spikes. Maybe Normal Spikes. I'm sure he has Icicle Spear though. He'll have Icicle Spear. He has to choose something to take a lot of damage here if he hasn't got any priority. You could have Shadow Sneak on Houndstone. Um, I think he'll probably go T Tar here. What does more Tyranitar in the sun in the sand? Earthquake actually does more. He goes Houndstone. Okay. So I'm just clicking Surf. It will tell me if he has what uh, Shadow Sneak. 
He has Sneak. Okay, that's fine. Um, he could have Ice Fang, but I could also set up loads of spikes here. Good Gliscor. Correct. Correct. And I have Persimian still for the Cloister. I'm going to set up spikes. I'm, I'm quite offensive on this, so like... He hasn't got an Earthquake switch in, actually. I don't think... Um, does Gliscor die to the end Chow Ice Spinner? So it goes into Cloister. Poison on Persimian is going to be annoying. He might not do it this time, because he knows I've got Torn. I'm going to U-turn. Like, I probably should have taunted actually because I don't know how much Gliscor helps me in the long run. Probably helps me quite a lot actually. We go into this. This terrifies him, doesn't it? Yeah, Picks Ice for Sphere. I am bulky, so. Um, we tank this really well. Really well, which is nice. So. With a bit of leftovers, he has to fear. Like, this thing does lots to him. Like, a lot to him. He hasn't got a switch in outside of Houndstone. Um, so I could click knock off here. I think that's probably quite safe. So I'm going to do that. He's got a very slow team, actually. Um, actually, this thing looks really good right now. Really good right now. I have to keep it healthy because it does help with the... I mean, he doesn't know if I'm defensive unless he's calcing right now. Uh, Houndstone got a kill. That uh, dog is a bad dog. Is he? What's he terroring into? Ghost? Did I just read this like a god? That means no terror ice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's fine by me. We click knock. How much does that do? And he gets rid of heavy duty boots. High school spirit again. Oh shit, I keep hitting the microphone. My issue is I don't really want to switch him to this. Uh, if I do decide to switch out, actually I have no switch into this. If I decide to switch out, um, and the electrifier kind of ruins my day a little bit. Um, I have to keep this thing healthy. I have to. How much? Does it... Yeah, I don't see myself winning this game here at all. Um, obviously, Cloyster. <laughs> Cloyster actually doesn't kill my Moltres set here. Does it kill my Zed Striker? It's a roll to kill Zed Striker. Um, I think I have to sack off the score here. I think I quite simply just have to. Um, what's it doing here for me? Helps with the end shower, to be fair. I've just played this game horribly. Um, but Persimian does a lot of work still. So it's, it's really important I keep that thing around. Um, you might not die. How much do you do for me end game here? Could do quite a lot for me still. But so does Gliscor. And I think Gliscor might do it more consistently. Okay, we're living this, so it's not offensive. My only issue is now. Oh, get a crit, okay. Um, this is my issue now, is if I bolt. Um, but Gliscor can help with the Electivire now. Yeah, it gets Ice Punch, but that won't kill me. Do I Terra Bolt? Fuck it, we Terra Vault. 
He could go Evire here and predict it, he withdraws. Does he go Evire? Or does he sack Empoleon? I am Scarf, so... Kafka, that's... Uh, oh, T-Tar. Okay, we'll take that. Um... We do terrestrialize here. This is nice. If I can kill that Electivire now. Um, this won't do a lot. I actually do think Moltres has got a bit to play here. Eject button into the Electivire. That stops me from switching out. That's a really smart play. I'll, I'll give him that. It's a really smart play. He doesn't know I'm Scarfed though. Which could play in my favour. Come on, I just need to pull this back a bit. If I can get my third layer of spikes up, that'd be really nice. That would make Cloister less of a threat. Minus, that's going to be the Electivire. No, it's the Houndstone. Okay, he doesn't know. I am Scarfed. He could scout. He doesn't. He doesn't sneak. But sneak is probably definitely going to kill him from this range. So. I did nothing. Is that AV? Holy shit. Um, we go into this thing. This is my dedicated answer. Boots are irrelevant because there's no rocks. He could play rough, he misses because he's bad at the game. Um, does he let me have this? I don't think he does let me have it. He'll outspeed me, but he won't kill me. So I think I'm safe to click Fiery Wrath. I think I'm safe. He withdraws. But it's going to be good chip. If it's T-Tar, then it's, you know, it's T-Tar. It's not got an item. Pen Pen. Penguin. You'll die. It's not a 5-0. It's not a 6-0, lads. It's not a 6-0. Um, Napoleon's down. Electivire could come in. Um, but I can't afford to take too much damage on this Rampus. That has to be the Evi. I feel like it's the only one we haven't seen yet. You boots? You're not boots. Are you... What are you? So I feel like he's going to click an ice move, right? This thing I can't, I can't have it chipped because then, you know, Play Rough does just kill me. This was for this. It cannot terror. It knocks off my oh, crit. Of course it is. So I could, I might die here. Um. Do I click knockoff? Do I click seismic toss? Do I click rain punch? What do I do? Um, do I U turn? I'm slower, so it could give me that slow U turn. I'm surprised it didn't knock because Gliscor is free, so I am poisoned at that point. I think U-turn's fine. And Volt switches. Does that kill me? No. I live. Jesus. Okay. That's right. That could actually be really big. That could actually be really, really big. You know what? This actually gives me a really good play scoring game. Like, it looks like it could be a good play scoring game here. Yeah. It gives me this. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. I'm happy to have this off you. Um, if Houndstone dies, I can just kind of click. Oh, how much 
do you take from a earthquake? 34 to 42. If you're max HP, um, 26 to 31. I don't know what you're at. I feel like I have to go into this. Fiery Wrath is pretty free. Right? Fiery Wrath is pretty free. There's no sand. I think that's, I'm pretty sure it's five turns. Um, so we click Fiery Wrath. We click Fiery Wrath. He could go T-Tar to set up the sand again. But I just U-turn out and I'm pretty sure I just go... Do I go Gliscor or do I sack something off? He spots out again. Okay, so next time it's dead. Because it's pretty much slower than everything on my team. We're chipping things down. We're chipping things down. All we need to do is get rid of the... If we can get rid of the... Um, let's you turn out. He's not Scarf, so he can't outspeed me. I don't think unless he's max speed. He turn. He dies. To he might die after spikes again. So what does he predict me? Do I sack? Cause like I think I sack King Julian. I think I just have to at this point. Um He could click rocks. King Julian dies whatever actually because of sand if I go into it here. He could click Ice Beam. Which would be a good play, I don't think it'd kill me unless he's fully specially offensive, but I think if Gliscor dies I just lose. Um, yeah, let's sack off King Julian. He might set up rocks, um, which isn't too bad of a problem for me. Need to set up rocks. Yeah, the sand will kill me, which is a shame. And I was sandy, uh, safety goggles would have been really handy as well for the rocks. So. Um, so now we go Gliscor and we pick EQ. Because there is no EQ switch in here whatsoever. Um, I did consider Sand Veil, which would have been really quite fun actually. Let's click Earthquake. I am enough speed to outspeed non Scarf Cloister. There is a potential for Ice Shard, but that would kill me. Um, this is going to come down to the wire. So actually, Pissimian goes down to the Sandstorm. Uh, so Titar gets a kill, but is also dead to Gliscor. Uh, yeah, Napoleon's dead. Evi's still alive, and Yenchao's still alive. Does get, I'm pretty sure it gets Ice Spinner, uh, which I can't switch into at this point. Uh, Mian Shao, you are Scar. Ice Spinner doesn't kill me. Yeah. Ice Spinner doesn't kill me unless he is. He's a triple, oh, triple Axel. Of course. Two hits, two hits, two hits, two hits. Okay, that's huge. And we, oh my Jesus Christ. And we crit back. Holy shit. Um, that could be season saving. Like, genuinely, that could be season saving. I might have just hacked my way back into this game. Because what's alive? Electivire, Houndstone, and Cloister. Houndstone will outspeed me. Last Respects is a thing. Last Respects will kill me. You mean it's a dog? Um, it's a 50-50. It's a big 50. So, hang on, how many things are dead? He's got three things dead, right? Um, Hound, Stone, PU defensive. You're not defensive, you are definitely offensive. Let's just say you're not banded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not banded. Let's just say you're adamant. Um, last, I don't know how to 
increase the damage from last respects in the calc. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 200 base power now because three things are dead. I'm hoping that's how it works. So if I go into Galarian Moltres and this thing does decide to click play rough. I think after... It might just kill me at that point. Last respect. Okay. So I think I just had to... I had to let it go. The sound is gone. So now this thing is free. This is going to be so close. I think if I can hit a high horsepower, I, if I hit high horsepower, I think I win. So, Houndstone goes down. Evi won't, I don't think Electivire can kill me and it'll give me Berserk. I'm pretty sure he will die. So that's Fiery Wrath. He, if he has, it all comes down to if he has Ice Shard or not. Really? Um, or if he Ice Punch freezes me or full powers me. Here. Oh my God, this is going to be so close. This is where I should have been Terror Water on my uh, horse. Because Cloyster dies after these spikes. I think Gliscor's dead. Yeah, Gliscor's dead. Blaster's dead. So Striker's still alive. Moltres is 2 and 0. Moltres and faster. What? I live. I go berserk. We go fire wrath again. Does A B? I have got some speed on this. I have to I have to lock into high horsepower. I have to. That's all I've got. 95% accurate move. 95%. This is gonna come down to the wire. We live rocks. High horsepower. We hit. Oh god. Um, Evi goes down. I have to go one and one. It's all going to come down to if he has Ice Shard. If he doesn't have Ice Shard. And I don't miss. I win. But I think he has Ice Shard. He has Ice Shard! No! Oh, we so nearly brought it back. It's a good game though. I can't be too upset. I mean, we're definitely not in playoffs now. Um, it's my fault for being silly with the Cinderace at the start. I should have just gone straight into Gliscor, really. Um, but, what can I say? Really good game. I brought it back as good as I could. Um, really, after being so stupid turn one, because Cinderace was so good into this team. Um, especially how slow it was actually so that is really on my my you know my end um, oh man if you didn't have if you didn't have ice shard that game was ours that's how close it was um, gg matt uh, i've enjoyed the season that's me out of the playoffs now for sure because my kd is just too bad so um yeah thank you for watching this video guys i'll release a like season summary at some point uh, after this but I've, I've thrown it away so what can you say but with all the shit that's gone in my life recently I'm, I'm not overly upset by that so I'm more upset by how I played that turn one than anything because that was silly I should not be a score or me but never mind um, thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you next time bye